Paramount. Loyola down by four. And they're using some shot clock again. Stemke right on target that time. Nothing but net, and it's a one-point game. Just a, you just use clock. One-point game, you don't just use clock. you got to be able to run offense. You leave yourself in a scary situation if you're the Terriers if you don't score on this possession. Alexander twists inside. He didn't put it up hard enough. That time he did, and he was fouled. Not enough strength to get that ball up and in. That was an incredible play, but he cannot hit the free throw, so it's still a one possession game. Just Tavares, hard to use his time out here, I'm curious. I wondered, apparently it's gonna be play on, at least for the moment. Stemke inside, comes up short, gets his own rebound, and he'll get a chance for an and one to possibly tie the game. There, I'm surprised we're not seeing DK or Illich on the glass. Stemke's first free throw attempt of the day and he makes it, he now will be you. Call their final timeout here at the end of regulation. In a tie game, they will not. Brewster to Alexander for the win, he's got it! 1.6 to go, timeout Loyola. It's not over yet, but Alexander hits the shot. Out here, one three one for BU. Brennan will put it in play. Garrett Brennan running the baseline, loops it up for Faure. He's got a clean look, and he banks it in! And this game will go to overtime! Could you almost sense that was gonna happen? It's BU Loyola. Just to make sure that it counts, but I don't think there's any question that this counts. You can see the clock, it was very, it was barely under a second when he let it go. That happened in plenty of time. And by the way, that extra half second they added had no impact on that play whatsoever. You're right, because there was This game is taking a slowdown as well. Both teams just wiped. And only six scholarship players for Loyola among the eight who are dressed today as Anthony Morales hits the turnaround. Still 19 on the shot clock for Loyola, but they trail by four, remember. Bowre. Commander for three for the left-hander to keep scoring. One minute to go in overtime. Alexander with the hard push, and he overcooks. By no timeouts left, remember, for the Greyhounds. BU has two. Stemke through traffic, and he lays it in for the lead. Just somehow got through, and then all of a sudden the lane opened up, and Joe Jones is going to take a timeout here. Who will get the shot here? It was Alexander in regulation. Alexander's in the right corner now. Morales tries to drive, gets shut off by Faure, keeps going, and somehow gets it to go with 11 seconds to go. No timeouts for Loyola. It's win or lose right here. Stemke stopped at the rim. Alexander saves it. The clock runs out. What are they calling here? They've gotten him or kicked him or anything like that. But then on top of that, so there's the foul on Illich, without a doubt, just throws him down. And then the question, again, it's, it's got to be 1.1. 1 .1. Oh, they're putting 0.8. Okay. Almost after that, that's why there's only 0.8 left as Alexander. Well, you know, we Loyola did it with 2.1. They got a shoot. Just don't let him go right to the uh, free throw line, uh, to, to the timeline to do it. Brennan unguarded this time. The Terriers tip it away and that'll do it. There'll be no time left on the clock by the time that ball hit the stands. Uh, they quickly look at it. Game's over. That's official. The Terriers win this one.